Sabi rito, Someone approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what, must, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one good, and that is God. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which ones? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And the young man said to him, All of these I have observed. What do I still lack? And Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard the statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Ito pong kwentong ito, nagpapakita sa atin na interesadong Panginoon sa mga kabataan. Ang kausap niya po dito ay isang kabataan, isang young man. No? Ang Stations of the Cross na gagawin po natin, nais nating ialay sa ating mga kabataan na mas nakararami sa atin dito sa Pilipinas. Ang kabataan na pag-asa ng simbahan, ang kabataan na simbahan ng kinabukasan, ang kabataan na mahal na mahal ng ating Santo Papa. Sa kanila po natin, ide-dedicate ang Via Crucis na ito. Ngayon po ay inaanyayahan namin kayong tayo na at atin pong sariwain ang kwento ni Jesus. Ang daan ng krus ay hindi lamang po ang kwento ng pagliligtas sa atin ng Panginoong Hesus. Kung hindi sabi natin, ito ang kwento ng pagliligtas ng Diyos sa atin. And so the way of the cross, my dear brothers and sisters, is the way of the Trinity. In fact, sa kwento po ng krus, kausap ni Hesus ang Ama mula sa kanyang krus. At mula sa krus din naman, ibinigay ni Jesus ang kanyang banal na spiritu. And so as we begin our way of the cross, let us pray to the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Loving Father, Father of Jesus and our Father, You have made us, even in our human frailty, You have made us Your image and likeness, You have made us for you, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. We then praise and thank you, because in the fullness of time, you sent your only begotten Son, Jesus, to be our life, our truth, our way back to you. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for giving us the grace to be your disciples and friends through our baptism in your holy church. Lead us back to the Father through your way. Let us follow you in the manner you will when you said, if you want to be my disciples, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. Holy Spirit, the abiding love of the Father, You were upon Jesus from His birth, in His ministry, and until His last moment on the cross. Inspire us in a special way as we meditate on the way of Jesus, which is the way of the cross. Empower us 
to follow Him more closely, even as we love Him more dearly, empower us to take up our own crosses in life, and so come to share the glory of Him who is risen forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever and ever. Amen. Gaya po ng ating sinabi sa panimula ng ating Way of the Cross, ang Way of the Cross po natin gagawin ay kasama ang kabataan. Ang kabataan na kinabukasan ng simbahan. Ang kabataan na simbahan ng kinabukasan. Sasamahan po tayo ng ating kaibigan na si Christine. Magandang araw, Christine. No? Mabuti ta uh, pwede ka ngayon at uh, magninilay tayo sa Way of the Cross. No? Ang ating first station, Jesus celebrates the Last Supper. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them. And they drank of it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly, I say to you, I shall not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, They went out of the Mount of Olives. Alam mo, Christine, yung binasa nating kwento about the Last Supper, kwento ito ng magkakaibigan. No? Sabi nga ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad, I no longer call you servants. A servant does not know what the Master is doing. I call you friends. No? At uh, sa magkakaibigan, napakahalaga yung memories. Eh, di ba? Yung alaala. Ah, uh, pag magkakasama kayo, yan ang binabalik-balikan nyo. Eh. Pinagkwekwentuhan nyo yung alaala. Pero maliban doon, kadalasan pag magkakaibigan, may mga iniiwan ng mga simbolism ng alaala. Meron akong nakitang kabataan, ang dami nakatali dito ng mga ano, tap. O, oh, tali talaga. Sabi ko, ano ba yan? Pati pagligo mo, nakatali. Sabi niya, Father, ano yan? Bonds of friendship yan. No? So, Palagi ko, dapat ang tingin natin sa Blessed Sacrament, sa Eucharist, ganito. No? Jesus is leaving us a bond of friendship. Nais niya na yung pakikipagkaibigan na sinimulan niya sa kanyang pagkakatawang tao ay hindi masira sa kanyang pagkawala sa mundo. No? Kung hindi, that we will continue to remember that friendship with the Lord. No? So siguro, With that in mind, let us now pray together. Our prayer. Sabihin natin, Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Eucharist, the memorial of your Last Supper, which you, ter- you in turn will to be the memorial of the sacrifice of your precious body and blood on the cross. Let your abiding love and your healing presence flow to us from this Eucharist. We pray for your children who receive the sacrament in First Communion, for the youth who come to this sacrament amidst their own experiences of transitions in life. We pray for couples who receive the sacrament at the beginning of their marriage life, for the sick and the dying who feed on this sacrament in Beaticum. Console everyone with the same peace and mercy you imparted to the apostles at the holy table on the eve of your passion. Amen. Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary, pray for us. O, oh, Christine, tayo'y lilipat na sa susunod na station. Up.
The second station, Jesus agonizes at the garden. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives. And the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, and knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours, be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat became like drops of blood falling down upon the ground. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray that you might not enter into temptation. Ano, ano kaya yung pinaka-mabigat na decision na nagawa mo na, Christine? <laughs> Pinaka-mabigat na decision? Siguro po yung pumasok ulit, yung mag-aral ulit ako. Parang, uh, imbis na magtrabaho, imbis na mas gusto ko, uh, mas gawin ko yung gusto ko, mas sinunod ko yung gusto ng parents ko. Ah, so, makikita natin, every decision-making is a struggle. Di ba? Uh, yung bang gusto ko, o yung gusto ng parents ko. No? Ito rin ang nangyari sa Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus was trying to bargain with the Father. Sabi niya, Father, baka pwede naman ibahin natin yung script. Baka may ibang paraan. No? Pero sa bandang dulo, pinakita niya na sa dulo ng bawat pagpili, kailangan yung may konkreto kang commitment. Hindi pwedeng nakabitin. No? Pero ang paggawa ng commitment, dalawa kailangan mo. Para kay Jesus, pinakita niya, self-denial, kailangan marunong kang itabilang yung gusto mo. Tignan mo rin yung pananaw ng iba, yung kabutihan ng iba. At maliban dyan, ay kailangan ng pananalangin. Di ba? Yung enlightenment ng Panginoon sa mga choices na gagawin natin. So siguro yun ang ating ipanalangin no? sa station na ito. Lord Jesus, in your humanity, you teach us life is a struggle. It is a struggle to do what the Heavenly Father wills, rather than what is easy and convenient for us. It is a struggle to pray and trust in God, rather than wallow in our sorrow. Pour upon us your spirit in prayer. Teach us to pray with perseverance, discernment, with obedience, with heartfelt submission, and filial trust. Send us your divine assistance that we may follow your example of faithfulness. Amen. Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary, The third station, Jesus is put on trial. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. When they came, the assembly of the elders of the people gathered together, both chief priests and scribes. And they led Jesus away to their council. And they said, If you are Christ, tell us. But he said to them, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I ask you, you will not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man shall be seated at the right hand of the power of God. And they all said, Are you the Son of God then? And he said to them, You say that I am. And they said, What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. Dito sa trial na ito ni Jesus, alam mo, Christine, iba't ibang klaseng tao ang kailangang harapin. No? Inarap niya yung mga religious leaders ng mga hudyo, ito yung mga pari at uh, mga lawyers, yung mga members ng Sanhedrin, ang tawag nila doon. Ano? Inarap niya ito si Pontius Pilate. 
Pero meron pang isang umextra, si Herodes. No? Kailangan din siyang humarap at uh, ilitisin sa harap ni Herodes. Iba't ibang tao, iba't ibang pananaw, pero alam mo ang naging problema rito. Meron sila kanya-kanya mundo. Nahirapan silang magbukas ng kanilang mundo at pakinggan si Jesus sa kanyang mundo. Palagay ko, ito rin yung challenge natin ngayon. Tayo nabubuhay sa isang kultura ng komunikasyon, sabi nga nila, di ba? Mga kabataan, alam na alam yan, ano? Mga gadgets, internet, digital media, virtual media, uh, maraming ideas. Pero ang problema pa rin natin, kahit sa kabataan, minsan sasabihin ng kabataan, hindi namin kayo maintindihin, maintindihan ng mga magulang. Kasi yung mundo nyo iba. Pero sasabihin din ng kabata ng mga magulang, eh kayo rin. So I think dito ang challenge po sa atin ng station na ito ay yung tinatawag natin na virtue of openness. No? Openness especially ng ating pag-iisip. And now we pray. Lord Jesus, pride and prejudice killed your truth. More than that, the obstinacy of the Jewish leaders made them unteachable and unrepentant. No wonder, you thought that all sins can be forgiven except the sin that is against the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit teaches us all things about you, reminds us of all your teachings, and convicts us of our sins. But pride, prejudice, and our obstinacy do blind and harden our hearts and minds. Jesus, in our sinfulness, keep us within the reach of your grace and of your enlightenment. Amen. Jesus, crucified. Have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary. Pray for us. The fourth station, Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. And he said, why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this righteous man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him, and put a scarlet robe upon him, and plating a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him. And they took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they mocked him, they stripped him of his robe and put his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. Itong ating statwa sa likod, Christine, ay isang uh, simpleng paglalarawan sa isang eksenang ito. Pero alam niyo, itong statwang ito medyo... <laughs> hindi pwede natin i-compare sa kwentong binasa mo. Di ba? Talaga sobra-sobra yung ginawang pahirap kay Jesus. Sabi nga sa banal na kasulatan, hindi mo makikilala ang pagmumuka ng isang tao. And then, tanong eh, paano nangyari yun? No? Paano naganap yun? Paano nagawa na mga kapwa-taong ito 
mga soldiers na paglaruan si Jesus na walang kalaban-laban at uh, grabe ang ginawa sa kanya. And uh, ang sagot ng maraming Bible scholars, sabi nila, kasi itong mga sundalong ito nasanay na sa ano eh, sa dugo. No? Bloodthirsty. Nasanay na sa dugo. Bali, wala na yung dugo. No? Palagay ko, kung titignan natin, ito yung isang bagay din na atin pong dapat ingatan ngayon. Di ba? Alam na alam mo yung mga kwento ng mga kabataan na namamaril sa eskwelahan, no? Sa Amerika, Amerika pa yata yung iba, eh, no? Magtataka ka, no? Anong nagbigay ng ganong imahinasyon sa kabataan na gumawa ng ganong klase? Na pagbabaril, pagbabarilin lahat ng kamag- kaklase, etc. And uh, sabi nga nila, ang mundo natin nasanay na rin kasi sa violence, eh, no? Violence sa TV, violence sa pelikula, violence sa games. Di ba? Yung mga computer games, no? Talagang uh, kung humawak yung mga kabataan ng joystick, kala mo, oh, simple lang eh. So, ang mundo para sa kanya, parang joystick ng isang labanan sa computer. I think that is something that we have to pray for. No? Tayo po ngayon manalangin, Lord Jesus, We boast of being civilized and sophisticated, but we are a bloody people. We protest against the crimes and violence committed in our streets, but we also cry for the death of our enemies. We are no better. We sacrifice the unborn at the altar of progress. We mock and strip persons of their good name in our quest for bloody justice. We gang up on the guilty. We pray for their deserved end. Teach us, Jesus, how to be gentle, meek, and compassionate in all circumstances. Amen. Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary. Pray for us. The fifth station, Jesus receives the cross. A reading from the Gospel of John. Now it was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about the sixth hour. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus And he went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the Place of a Skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote a title and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Ang cross. Ano cross mo, Christine? Problema. Problema. Okay. Uh-huh. Mga problema dumarating okay. o mga problema ang pinoproblema mo? Problema dumarating. <laughs> Natanong ko yun kasi alam mo, um, kadalasan nang iniisip natin na krus sa buhay ay yung mga sacrifices, yung mga pains na ginagawa natin. Pero ang krus palang pinasan ni Kristo ay isang krus na hindi niya pinili. No? Hindi niya pwedeng piliin. Binigay lang sa kanya. No? At uh, yun ang pinakamalaking challenge sa buhay. No? Madaling dalhin ang isang bagay kung ito'y pinili mo. Di ba? No? Pero kung sinabi ng Panginoon, take up your cross and follow me, it means embracing kung ano yung dumarating sa buhay. No? Uh, it means talagang total acceptance, sabi nga natin, kung ano yung nangyayari sa pamilya, sa trabaho, sa lipunan, at mula doon, 
sikapin naman natin gawin kung ano ang pwedeng pagpapasan nito mga bagay na ito. Pero yun ang isang bagay na napakahalaga. Hindi pwedeng piliin ang krus. So we now pray, Lord Jesus, You bore Your own cross. It was not Your will, yet You embraced and bore it when it was placed on You. You tell us, if you want to be my disciple, take up your cross daily and follow me. We know this, but one thing we never quite understand was that the cross means trials, difficulties of life that we never willed, hardships that naturally flow with our choices and commitments in life the burdens that go with age, or the burdens that go with being alive. We cannot choose our crosses. But in the same way that your cross became your identity, our own inevitable crosses, embraced with much faith and love, make us who we are. Jesus, guide and empower us Amen. Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary. Pray for us. The sixth station. Jesus falls under the weight of the cross. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Although Christ Jesus was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of man. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him that name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Alam mo, Christine, masaya ako kasi malapit na tayong mga lahat eh. <laughs> At alam nyo, um, ang hirap din palang gumawa ng ganitong program no? para sa Holy Week. Lalo-lalo uh, na kasi si Derek ay perfectionist. <laughs> Pero nasabi ko ito, alam mo kasi, ito rin yung palagay ko napaagandang kwento netong falling on the, on the weight of the cross. No? Hindi mo lubos maisip na ang isang Diyos na nagkatawan tao ay dada pa, di ba? May hirapan. Eh, kung Diyos yan, dapat superman yan, di ba? Pero palagay ko, meron napaaganda na isabihin dito si Lord. No? At ito'y ito, na okay sa tao ang madapa. No? Bahagi ng buhay ng tao ang nadadapa paminsan-minsan. No? Pero sa pagkadapa, dalawang bagay. Unang-una, dapat matuto tayong maging maunawain sa iba. Kasi yan ang problema ng uh, ilan sa atin, lalo-lalo na yung mga kabataan na masyadong mataas yung ideal sa buhay. Di ba? Parang may, pag may nangyari, hindi nila ma, matanggap na taliwas sa kanilang ideal. Parang hindi na nila matanggap din ang buhay. No? No. Kailangan maging compassionate tayo sa gitna ng kahinaan, bahagi ng pagkatao ang kahinaan but the other side, Christine, ay ito. Kailangan, pag nadapa ka, huwag mo namang ialibay at sabi mo, sorry, tao lang. No? Bahagi nun ay dapat yung lakas mo rin namang tumayo uli no? at simulan uli ang buhay. No? And for that, tayo po ngayon ay mananalangin. Lord Jesus, to show us falling in weakness is not the end you fall 
you fell under the weight of the cross. If we fall in meekness and humility, we never allow pride and bitterness to harden our hearts, we can rise with gracefulness, with God's merciful grace. Human limits may bring us down, but we should never be overwhelmed and downcast. We should not yield to human despair, but to faith filled in the Father's merciful hands. Jesus, you are our way. Amen. Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary. Pray for us. The seventh station. Simon of Cyrene carries the cross of Jesus. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. They compelled the passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Habang pinapakinggan ko yung story ang yan, uh, Christine ang pumapasok sa akin, yung isang word na madalas natin gamitin ngayon, yung salitang deadma. Huh? Deadma. Pag hindi mo gusto ng isang tao, deadmahin mo. Kung hindi mo kursunada yung uh, gawin niya, deadmahin mo. No? Kaya nga sabi ni Pope Francis do sa kanyang message, sabi niya, isa sa mga malaking hamon natin ngayon sa mundo ay yung tinatawag natin na globalization of indifference. Diba? Dumadami, nagiging universal, mas marami ang guma gumagawa ngayon ng bagay na ganyan. Walang pakialam. No? Yan din pwede mangyari dapat kay Simon of Cyrene. Eh. Kasi gaya na sinabi mo, hindi nga siya usyoso eh. Dumaan lang, no? pauwi na. Siguro gusto nga lang niyang makauwi ng maaga para makasama din ang family. Pero along the way, ay uh, na-challenge siya na maging good Samaritan no? para kay Jesus. And uh, I think sa atin, maraming mga pagkakataon na tayo na-challenge maging good Samaritan. No? Uh, pag nasa bus ka, you know, kanina lang pinag-uusapan natin, MRT. Di ba? Kung nasa MRT ka, eh, talaga namang sikipan na, punuan niya, lahat nagmamadali. No? Uh, madaling mandedma, lalo-lalo na sa mga mahihina, matatanda, di ba? Uh, sana uh, hingin natin na meron tayong tulad nung puso ni Simon of Cyrene na nung kumatok sa kanya yung pagkakataon na tumulong ay hindi niya ito inayawan. No? So we will now pray. Lord Jesus, Simon of Cyrene was not even an onlooker but a passerby. Tired from early work in the country, he could have only one thing in mind, to pass by the commotion of your procession to Golgotha and to go home early to his family and his sons. Only you know in what mood he helped you with your cross. Was he glad to help or was he simply forced to help? fearing the soldiers who commandeered his service. Lord, we too have our own schedules, works to accomplish, goals and ends to reach. Grant us generosity and charity in heart to pay attention to others who are in need. It can hurt us at times to, hurt, to, to help others, but love hurts. Above all, let us see your face in the faces that beg for our love and attention. Amen. Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary.
the eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. And there followed him a great multitude of the people, and of women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never gave suck. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For it, for if they will do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Dito po sa Station of the Cross na ito ng um, pagtatagpo ni Jesus at niya kayong mga babae sa Jerusalem, makikita natin na inilalarawan dito yung isang bagay na palagay ko hanggang ngayon nagaganap din sa atin. Yung bang madali mong tignan yung kwento ng iba? No? Madali kang makialam sa iba? No? Uh, kapitbahay mo, no? ganito sila, ganyan sila, buti pa tayo, ganito tayo, at least mas maganda buhay natin. No? We love to compare yung sarili natin sa ibang tao. And so doing, kuminsan, ang nakikita natin yung kamalian nila, yung kahinaan nila, and we fail to see na ako rin, I have to be honest with myself. So siguro ito yung magandang ipag-pray natin na grace dito sa station na ito. Sabi nga ni Lord, look at yourself. Weep for yourself. Tignan mo sarili mo. Kasi sayang naman kung yung iba nagbabago, tapos ikaw naman ang maigiwan. Di ba? So we will now pray together. Lord Jesus, It is so easy for us to be so concerned about other people's needs as did the women. Of course, you appreciate this act of charity and compassion. Empathy is a virtue. However, you reveal to us, Jesus, let us not forget our own selves, our own needs, especially our need in order to order our lives. We cannot simply aim to help others transform their lives. We must transform also ourselves. The journey begins with us. We remember your word, Jesus. You said, before you remove the speck in others' eyes, you have to remove the plank in your own eyes. Amen. Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary, pray for us. The ninth station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. A reading from the Gospel of John. Then Pilate handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and he went out, bearing his own cross to the place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. There they crucified him and with him two others, one on either side and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote a title and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read the title, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city. And it was written in Hebrew, in Latin, and in Greek. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and made four parts, one for each soldier, also his tunic. But his tunic was without seam, woven from top to bottom. So they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see who it shall be. Christine, nakaranas ka na ba ng isang pangyayari sa buhay na nasabi mo sa sarili mo na life is unfair. Walang katarungan ng buhay. 
unfair. Opo. Uh-huh. Eh, opo, meron din naman. Mm-mm. Kagaya ng minibibigay ka ng effort, tapos okay. parang hindi naman lumabas yung resulta ng effort mo. Yun. Tapos yung iba po, hindi naman ganun ka laki yung effort na binigay nila, pero kitang-kita yung resulta. Parang mm. ganun po. Mm. Natanong kita ng ganyan kasi alam mo, palagay ko, ito rin yung naglalaro sa damdamin ni Jesus nung pinapaho yung kamay niya sa krus. Isipin mo, itong mga kamay na ito, ito yung kamay na nagpagaling ng mga may sakit. Di ba? Ito yung kamay na nagpalakad uli ng mga lumpo. Ito yung kamay na nagbigay ng tinapay, nagparami ng tinapay sa mga nagugutong. No? Maraming ginawa itong kamay na ito. Pero ngayon, itong mga kamay na ito pinapako. And uh, palagay ko, maraming kabataan yun na feeling din. Ano? Uh, bakit pa ako gagawa ng mabuti eh? Hindi naman ako susuklian. Diba? No? Kaya nga, ang isang term na naririnig ko sa maraming kabataan ngayon eh, what's in it for me? <laughs> English yun. <laughs> what's in it for me? Anong mapapala ako dyan? Kung gagawin ko yan, anong kabutihan yan sa akin? And um, I think that's very human that we look for recognition, di ba? May konsuelo ka man lang, may yung bang makikilala ka man lang, pasalamatan ka man lang, di ba? But I think this is the message of this station. Pinapakita sa atin ng Panginoong Jesus na kung maglilingkod ka, dapat maisip natin na many times pag naglingkod ka, walang kapalit, di ba? Gawin mo lang kung ano dapat mong gawin. Meron nga isang quotation Anyway, di ba? Yeah, no? So, people may be like this and like that, but anyway, kailangan gawin mo yung dapat. Di ba? So, let's pray for the courage na ganito, sa, ganito sana tayo sa ating pong buhay. Lord Jesus, while hanging on your cross, you were mocked as king of the Jews before your fellow Jews, before the Greeks and the Romans. But with this, You make us realize that to save us, you had to be stripped of glory, be naked of any human dignity, be seen in shame and ignominy. Cure, O Jesus, our oversensitive selves that are so easily discouraged by insinuations and intrigues. Correct our false sense of service that seeks to re- a return of good feelings and recognition. Mold us in your way of service that is not afraid to face sufferings, failures, vulnerability that is connected with our humanity. Amen. Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Immaculate and Sorrowful Mother Mary, pray for us. The tenth station, Jesus addresses the repentant thief. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. One of the criminals who were hanged derailed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember remember me when you come in your kingly power. And he said to him, Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Magandang imagine natin yung nangyayari sa puntong ito sa Kalbaryo sa Golgotha. No? Um, si, Christ, si Christo nasa mga sandalina ng kanyang hindi lamang paghihirap kung hindi aguni, no? mga huling sandali. And um, narinig niya itong taong ito na kriminal, sabi dito, thief. No? Uh, nagmamakaawa na siya ay... Um, pakinggan 
alalahanin siya. No? Huwag siya isa-isang tabi. Alalahanin siya. Bigyan siya ng panahon. Uh, Christine, kung ikaw may sakit, o halimbawa, ikaw may ginagawang assignment sa school, no? naghahanda ka sa exam, naistorbo ka ba? Opo. Talaga? Opo. Okay na sa'yo, istorbohin ka? Hindi okay, pero nagpapaistorbo. <laughs> Ayun. Hindi okay, pero nagpapaistorbo ka. No? Para pag, kung ikaw masusunod mo, ayaw mo sana yung istorbohin ka. No? Uh, palagi ko, ito yung isang napaagandang point of reflection natin dito. Tama yung sinabi mo. Kapag ang isang tao, isang kabataan, merong dinaramdam, may problema, no? o busy sa assignment, o busy sa computer, o ano paman, ang gusto natin, akin muna ito, di ba? Oras ko muna ito, intindihin ko muna sarili ko, tabi ka muna. Ito yung nais sabihin sa atin ng Panginoon mula sa Cruz. No? Ang isang tunay na Kristiyan ang tagasunod niya, hindi idadahilan ang kanyang kalagayan. No? At tama nga, sabi mo, masakit, pero uh, kailangan meron palaging room for others. Yeah, no? um, naalala ko yung uh, palaging sinasabi ni Pope Francis. Sabi niya, uh, wag mong hayaan na y- yung mga tao yung nasa tabi-tabi lamang, uh, that they become people in the periphery. No? They become people on the edges. Ang isang Kristiyano, kahit yung mga nasa tabi-tabi, may panahon siya. We now pray. Lord Jesus, even in your pain and sufferings, you never close the, uh, the door on anyone. You always had room for another. You never allowed another's checkered past to be the sole basis of your judgment. You search the person's heart for his sincerity. Impart on us, Lord Jesus, the great love that is in your heart. Following your heart, may our hearts overflow always with goodwill, forgiveness, mercy, and compassion that is ready to minister to all. Amen. Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Immaculate and Sorrowful Mother Mary. Pray for us. The eleventh station, Mary and John stand at the foot of the cross. A reading from the Gospel of John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. Uh, Christine, Pamili ka. Exam o pamilya? Pamilya po. Pamilya. Trabaho o pamilya? Pamilya. Boyfriend o pamilya? Pamilya po. Asawa o pamilya? Pamilya po. <laughs> uh, kung titignan natin ang kwentong ito sa Way of the Cross, alam nyo, nakaka-strike sa akin dito ay, ito yung moment, eh. ito yung the great moment ni Jesus the great performance ng kanyang buhay. Dito niya iniligtas ang tao. Ito yung center ng kanyang gawain. Ano? And yet, sa gitna ng lahat ng ito, may, may, may puwang para sa kanyang nanay. Di ba? No? Uh, may special moment para sa kanyang nanay. Hindi niya inignore ang nanay niya. Tinanong ko sa iyo yung mga questions na yan. Kasi, palagay ko kung minsan maraming kabataan ngayon medyo nahihirapan. Eh. Diba? Pag uh, tinanong mo ng ganong tanong, sabihin na, eh, exam, kasi uh, kailangan ipasa ko ito. Diba? Pwede maghintay ang pamilya. Diba? Uh, uh, yung ano, trabaho, at, uh, maintindihan naman ako ng, tra- ng pamilya ko kasi trabaho ko para sa pamilya. Diba? Uh, marami tayong pwede maging dahilan. 
But I think dito, ang, pina, ang binibigay sa ating pangunawa ng Panginoon ay uh, pwede tayong gumawa ng malalaking bagay na hindi natin ini-ignore yung mga mahahalagang pundasyon din ng buhay natin. Di ba? At bahagi niyan ay family, yung mga taong malapit sa'yo. You can go for success. You can go for achievement in life na hindi mo isinaisang tabi itong mga naging suporta mo sa buhay. Di ba? So, siguro maganda at this point, let us pray for family, for friends, yung mga naging kabahagi natin sa ups and downs ng ating buhay. Lord Jesus, You shared Your vision and Your mission to the disciples. But specially, You shared your mind and your heart to your mother Mary, who had always been there. We pray for friends and family members who share our ideas, ideals, initiatives, struggles. We pray, bless these friends and family as you blessed Mary and John. Bless them for the pains that they bore for us. Bless them for their goodwill and goodness towards us. Bless them for the gifts, for the fights they fought for us. Double the joys they shared with us. Amen. Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary. Pray for us. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. A reading from the Gospel of John. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A bowl full of vinegar stood there. So they put the sponge full of vinegar in his soup and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Alam mo, Christine, na malapit na tayo matapos. Di ba? Kanina, naririnig natin si Derek. Sabi, tatlo na lang, tatlo na lang. Oh? At uh, naisip ko, ikaw, second course mo na rin, di ba? Apo. Ang unang course mo ay? Communication po. Communication. Ilan taon yun? Four po. Four years. Tapos pagkatapos nun, dumiretso ka sa... Law school. Wow, talaga naman. Communicator na lawyer. <laughs> Anong taong ka na? Second year po. Second year. So, bali, uh, ilang taong pa na, Peter? Ha? Mga three years. Three years. Kasama pa. Hindi pa kasama doon yung review at saka bar. Hindi pa? Hindi pa po. Ah, hindi pa. Uh, uh, palagay ko, para sa atin, challenge yan palagi. No? Na magsimula ka, tapusin mo. Okay. Di ba? Magsimula ka, yung sinimulan mo na maayos, tapusin mo rin okay. na maayos. Di ba? Itong nangyari kay Jesus sa cross. No? After ng kanyang earthly life at after ng kanyang ministry, after ng lahat ng ginagawa niyang paghihimala at uh, ginawa niyang pagpapahayag ng mabuting balita, ngayon ay natapos na. No? And um, I think, you know, uh, ito yung ine-echo rin ni St. Paul. Alam mo si St. Paul, meron siya sulat, sabi niya, I must finish the race. I must have a good fight. I must finish the race. Ang isang taong may pananampalataya, ang isang kabataan na may ideal sa buhay, hindi lang magaling magsimula. Dapat, magaling din siyang magtapos. Di ba? Kaya siguro, sa puntong ito, tayo po ay manalangin. Lord Jesus, Your Holy Cross is the most important sign of our faith. We sign ourselves many times with Your Cross. We begin our prayers. We embark on our travels. 
we start our task with the sign of the cross. We mean this to invoke your protection and your blessings. Remind us that your cross that not only means a good start, it also means finishing well, always with trusting faith and obedience and love for the Heavenly Father, no matter what the cost. To sign ourselves with your cross is to transform everything we do in union with your sacrifice as a liturgy of praise to God. Consecrate us and all that we do for the glory of the Father. Amen. Jesus crucified. Have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful Mother Mary. Pray for us. The thirteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. A reading from the Gospel of John. Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly, for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him leave. So he came and took away his body. Nicodemus, also, who had first come to him by night, came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes. They took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb where no one had ever been laid. So because of the Jewish day of preparation, as the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. Habang pinakikinggan ko itong story na binasa mo, Christine, um, ang isang malaking tanong sa akin eh, bakit ngayon pa? No? Etong si Joseph of Arimathea at si Nicodemus, ito yung mga uh, kilalang mga tao sa panahon ni Lord. And one time, si uh, Nicodemus ay uh, pumunta kay Jesus upang makipagkwentuhan sa gabi. Kasi ayaw niyang makover siya ng media. No? Delikado na. No? Uh, habang buhay si Jesus, neutral sila. Walang ginawa. Di ba? Tapos ngayon, kung kailang patay na, saka sila magpipresenta na sila na ang aayos sa bangkay, sila na ang maglilibing uh, kay Jesus. Uh, hindi ba sana nung buhay pa siya? Ano yung sinasabi natin? Di ba? Aanhin mo pa ang damo, kung patay na ang kabayo, di ba? But I think, sa palagay ko itong kwentong ito, ay meron ding isang napaagandang aral sa atin. Naisipakita ng Panginoong Jesus na sa buhay may mga pagkakataon na yung ginagawa natin ay binhi, no? simula lamang. Ako lamang ang tagapagdala ng binhi, tagapagtanim ng binhi. Ako lang yung may idea, ako yung... Uh, First step, no? Pero pagkatapos yan, iba ang magtutuloy. Realidad dito ng buhay. At uh, even Jesus accepted that. Yung kanya mission, tinuloy ng mga alagad. No? Yung 12 disciples, afterwards, sila nagtuloy. Sa mga kabataan, napaagandang alaala, paalala din ito sa atin. Ano? Kasi uh, ang isang kabataan, hindi natin maalis, matayog. Matayog kung minsan yung mga pangarap. At uh, wala namang masama doon eh, no? Pero dapat may reality check din tayo na pwede kaya na ang hinihiling lang sa akin ay ako itong unang step na ito. Ako yung unang gagalaw sa proyektong ito. Ako yung may idea sa program na ito. Iba na ang magtutuloy. So, ihingi natin kay Lord na sana sa gitna ng ganong klase, hindi tayo malalagay sa libingan. Huwag tayong malilibing kung hindi we always look forward to what goes beyond. And we now pray.
Lord Jesus, the seeds you planted in Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea were not lost, though these were latent and silent. Your death left these seeds to grow by God's mysterious ways and grace. Nothing is wasted. Everything blooms according to His time and purpose. In the seeming nothingness of our lives, when our lives seem wasted and ended, let us be like you, always trusting in the Father's perfect will. Like you, let us be generous with our offerings of our lives, giving our best and our all, and living the results to God. We also pray for our departed family members, relatives and friends who have wholeheartedly left good seeds in our lives by their works, words, and examples. Accept them. Accept these generous souls into the Father's kingdom. Amen. Jesus crucified. Immaculate and Sorrowful Mother Mary. The 14th station, Jesus rises from the dead. A reading from the Gospel of John. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early. But it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb. Peter then came out with the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen clothes lying there, but he did not go in. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. Akala ko lahat magtatapos sa libingan. No? Normal sa tao yun. Eh. Diba? Sa ating mga mahal sa buhay, ang ating huling eksena kadalasan na yung nakikita natin sila sa kanilang huling sandali. No? Pero dito, napaaganda yung sinasabi sa atin ng kwento ng Panginoong Hesus. Ang libingan ay pintuan lamang sa isang bagong buhay. Dapat ang buhay ng Kristiyano, ito ang maging motivation. Hindi yung hirap, hindi yung sakit, kung hindi yung inaasahan nating ligaya at uh, yung ating inaasam-asam no? na bagong buhay. And uh, Christine, I think this is the reason why si Pope Francis ang kanyang isa sa mga unang isinulat bilang Santo Papa, bagamat matanda na siya, no? sabi niya. Uh, the joy of the gospel, no? ang katuwaan ng Ebanghelyo. Ang sino mang naniniwala kay Jesus ay hindi pwedeng hindi matuwa. No? The joy of the gospel. Na, dapat nandun palagi yung pag-asa, uh, yung pagtingin natin sa mas magandang bahagi ng buhay. No? So, nawa ang kabataan natin palaging ganun. No? Uh, hindi aapektuhan nang uh, nakikita nilang hindi maganda sa mga marami ng pinagdaanan sa buhay. Di ba? Kung hindi, sana maging palaging fresh yung joy, yung hope, yung love ng kabataan. And together we pray. Lord Jesus, You are the resurrection and the life, the eternal good news in a world full of uncertainty, fears, Unbelief, despair, gloom, war, and pessimism. Let us, Christians, be untiring sharers of joy and faith and hope. Make your church forever young with the message of love and life that is greater than anything in this world. Let the power of your resurrection shine through us in our liturgies 
in our celebrations in church, in our apostolates, in our coming together in fellowships. Let us praise and give thanksgiving to you always with our lips. Let Alleluia be our life. Amen. Jesus crucified, Have mercy on him. Immaculate and Sorrowful Mother Mary, Christine, maraming salamat sa iyong pakikiisa. No, alam ko, uh, kinatawan mo ang mga kabataan sa pagninilay na ito. At nawa yung pinagdaanan natin sa labing apat na stations na ito, magsilbing pabaon sa buhay. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Iwan na kita dito. At ngayon po ay atin pong dasalin ang ating dasal ng pasasalamat Jesus, our Master, I, an unworthy sinner, kneel before you in adoration, praise, and thanksgiving for your way of the cross. I adore your sacred heart, which has so greatly loved everyone and has not spared anything for us. I believe and I seek refuge in your infinite love for us. I thank you for the great gifts which out of love you gave us, especially the gospel, the Holy Eucharist, the church, the priesthood, the religious life, and the motherhood of Mary for all of us. Above all, thank you for your life. May I live the rest of my days worthily for all you have given. Amen. We now pray for the intentions of Pope Francis. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God be upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.